Hello YouTube, this is Flaming Hito. Uh, I just got 100 subscribers and I thought for my 100 subscriber video I'd do a game where I play a really stupid gimmick deck. And then one of my very good friends ended up bumping into me on Octagon. It's uh, Luciolia here. Hello all. And we're going to be on Skype and you're going to get to hear the reactions to this stupid deck that I made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what the gimmick is but you'll probably figure it out pretty fast. <laughs> so run whatever kind of runner you want. Okay. This is gonna be good. <sighs> How much have you been uh, playing on Octagon? Uh, I usually play like one or two games a day. Okay, cool. I, play I actually went to one of the tournaments a couple weeks ago. I broke exactly even, so that was pretty cool. I didn't nice. lose. Nice. I did the really big one, and then I was so burned out trying to just finish graduating and such mm. that I didn't get any further. Um. Yeah. Uh, I need to describe to the people whether or not I want to keep this hand without telling you what's <laughs> in it. <laughs> um, we're going to say, even though that card is what we're looking for with this deck, and these are good. You know what, actually, we're going to risk it. Fuck it, this is the 100 subscriber gimmick video. I'm keeping. <laughs> I'm a man. Okay, I'll keep two. Alright, let's do this. Ha. Ah. Okay. We're gonna not use the Wayland pass of this turn because we'd rather not lose our shit. That would be bad. <laughs> that worked out. Oh, you got Desperado turn one. Mm -hmm. No! <laughs> Bonk. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't give a fuck. Yeah. All you. Oh, pheromones. I made a thought, a deck, Deep Thoughts with Gabriel Santiago. It's a, um, <laughs> Deep Thoughts, Pheromone, and, uh, Surge. All in one deck. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Alright. What do you... You're not Gabe. I don't know if you want to hit R&D or HQ more. Hmm. It's difficult to say what I should be putting my free ones on. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> That's not good for me. <laughs> that is in fact bad. No, didn't get it. Ha! I win. <laughs> All right. I really hope that whatever that card is is like Enigma or something. <laughs> I'll give you a hint, it's not a dingbo. Aw, oh, damn it. Do you know what this deck is about yet? <laughs> so far, see commercialization and based oh, off the top. I forgot deck. to access the FaceTime card. Oh, that's right. He, he, he. <laughs> Can't trade. Okay. You poor. Oh, I'm poor. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought five was what you had. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> you did trash it. I thought that was what you had when you were gonna... Oh, okay. So now you know what the gimmick of this deck is. Now you've seen it all. <laughs> Archive memories. Archive memories and commercialization. <laughs> The only time I've seen that card is just like an HP when they're trying to not die to noise all the time. It's the only time I've seen Archive Memories. Yeah, it's a really kind of weird splash and all. But yeah, the gimmick of this deck 
I can now say it from my viewers, is I got three commercializations and three archive memories, and I'm going to get one piece of ice to, like, 13 advancements. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For now, though, since you're going to attack my hand all the time like a dickhead, I'm going to just do this. <laughs> now it'll be free for you to attack me, which is sad, but you can't get my hostile takeover. It's too late. Okay. <laughs> I just say okay, I know you're gonna just break it. <laughs> I got nothing, man. I got nothing. You lied to me. Yeah, it's just that's the. I have no way of scoring that right now. It's just the only. That was like the only other agenda, that and the takeover. That's why I'm willing to give you, even though you have these bad publicity creds letting you trash my smalls. Oh, you. Compromised employee. Yes. Alright. The way forward is clear. I'll do this. <laughs> I got a good card to get. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> I um I don't res the first ice and you get past the second. No more reactions. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm just clicking no more reactions when we're in Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Habit, I guess. <laughs> oh, you. Next turn. That was for the benefit of my viewers. I'm hovering over a face down card and they will know <laughs> they know what's yeah. about to happen. Oh man. I'm lucky that uh Enigma is a pretty good showing versus Peacock. Oh you suck. KD is so good and I got no snap tagging at all. <laughs> Whatever though. We'll have a money fight. <laughs> Wayland also does pretty well in a money fight. You. All right, so it begins. Commercialization number one. I res Simeon Diego. That was free. <laughs> Wait a minute. I forgot I need to give myself the credits because it doesn't know automatically what server. <laughs> That's probably automated. I just hit control A three times, but. Are you able to drag it? Probably I can actually target and click, I imagine. I just didn't even think about it because I forgot that the game doesn't yet recognize. <sighs> no getting into my hand, Lucy. Not yet. Give me a couple turns. <laughs> yeah, you're going to femme fatale. That's why Ice Wall is a problem. That's why most people think Tyrant is shit, because Tyrant is usually shit, but Tyrant is good for like specifically what I'm doing here. Just for data slugger. Yeah. All you. Alright, let's do that science now and see if this does work. Oh, I hit. That was the. Yep, it does. I figured it would. DB0 is really good about automating this game. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. Precognition doesn't have. I didn't notice it had the effect of looking at the top five, but that new uh, indexing card definitely does. Oh. So I'm not sure if it's just because no one uses precog or what. <laughs> Well, because, like, like it's gotten more sophisticated. Maybe it just hasn't gone back yet. I wouldn't know. I don't use Precog, so I wouldn't even know if that's a true thing. I was using it in a deck to try to uh, and then be in Rush deck, basically. Mm -hmm. And just using Precog and, like, draw power to try to get all the cards really quick, but didn't work very well. Yeah, I have a, I have a pretty cool uh, Rush deck for NBN. Oh, okay. Finally, be able to get into my R and D. Uh, 
Um, God, I haven't drawn the Amazon industrial zones yet that I want, so let's do this in a slightly wonky way. Let's go. Nope, I'm poor right now. <laughs> you were FAOing, but you didn't have the dodge yeah. to actually do it. Try this again. Alright. Aha! Okay. I hope you don't have Parasite. <laughs> I do not, sadly. Okay. Yeah, because that's the the gimmick, is, like, the big problem. Well, there's actually there's a lot of problems with this archetype, right? It's not <laughs> actually that good. But among the problems, uh, ice walls are really weak to femme, and tyrants are really weak to parasite. Uh, you kind of have to pick your poison. So now that uh, we have Simone, but only in HQ, and so we're going to do one a turn with the Wayland credit. We're going to do other two on this ice wall. Did I pay two when I put that outer ice? Yeah, I did. Okay. <sighs> oh, god damn it. And I fucked up Diego again. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Oh, you. When you fem this, do you know how sad I'm going to be, Lucy? It's Does extremely. That, like, I think I can't remember if I put a fem in here or not. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have a ninja. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We're gonna find out right now if I have it. You get a special order. See if you got a fem. Just to depress me. So nope, I didn't have a fem. Yes, straight <laughs> fourteen ice wall. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be an interesting battle. It's going to be interesting if you end up decking out before you get to... <laughs> because you're putting all your stuff on the central servers, you have nothing on your remote. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> give you a hint. This deck has zero assets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's at least... Four. All you. Okay. You need that because you're not playing anything in your head. <laughs> <laughs> so what else is new with you? Um, I may be moving to Washington, D.C., so that'll be fun. I'm flying out for an interview next week. Oh, really? Yep. You got your degree already, right? Yep, mathematics. Nice. Thank you. Minor in Latin, because why not? <laughs> So that's basically this deck. It's an enormous stalemate. It goes on forever. If someone wasn't stupid enough not to have a femme fatale in the deck. <laughs> I really 
wish I could do Simone in a different server. Like I could just use her to get other stuff. Whatever. That tyrant is probably good enough now. You can get into my R&D, but it's not especially cheap. Gonna try my luck anyways. Alright. Well, you need to... Well, you can either... You can use Data Sucker if you want instead. But then you'll need to break five subroutines. Alright, so two off Data Sucker. Mm -hmm. Five subs. Okay. And then I will... Res this Enigma. Okay, I won't bother breaking the Luzo click, and I'll just get the subroutine for end the run. Yep. And end the run. There you go, you're in. You All did right, it. let's hope we get something good. Nope. All you. Wait, what? I baited the trash the card I accessed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see that in the log, and I drew, <laughs> and I'm like, what? You didn't trash this? <laughs> okay. No, I actually drew an agenda, so I was really confused. I, I feel okay telling you I drew an agenda, because... It's <laughs> not getting into your hand. <laughs> I have a 19 strength ice ball. <laughs> okay. Now my hand is too full. Now I need to actually do something this turn. So, let's do it. can guess what I'm taking. Commercialization. Yes, sir. And then we will do it. Okay. Use commercialization's ability to gain 19 credits. <laughs> 20 strength I swallow represent. There's one more key card I just haven't drawn yet and I'm waiting for it. Is it Power Breed Overload? No, although, God, that'd be really funny. <laughs> you definitely have the money. I do. Thank you for noticing. No, it's actually Amazon Industrial. Because, like, I obviously need to get a remote at some point, and I use AIZ to actually get the remote going. Okay. <laughs> I'm absurdly rich, so I guess I'll just <laughs> press it. <sighs> See, that's the problem with this deck, is it's really funny, but, like, it doesn't really have a plan. <laughs> Also, you could never play this in real life because you have like 75 minutes for both. And this deck just takes a million years to do anything. Yeah. I think in the thing I went to, there was one kid who was running the Scorched Earth deck, and he ended up getting, I think, three wins in a row off it, which is pretty funny. He was like eight years old or something like that, and he was just <laughs> rocking it. <laughs> and then another guy got a one win, one turn win off medium. Because oh, they didn't the defend R&D. On the first turn, so we just medium run, run, run. Yep. And that was against me, and I was sad. Oh. Because I had a... It was a trace deck, so I had a hunter in front of me. He's like, I don't care about tags. <laughs> he just kept running. Yeah, that was actually, like... Since I've returned to Octagon, like, after taking that big break to finish graduating, mm -hmm. I've won most of my games, but, like, the biggest losses I had, like, the best deck I played against was this wizard deck that just focused on always being tagged, and it ran, like, DLR, Joshua B, Vamp, and, like, it was disgusting. Alright. <laughs> okay, how much money is it going to take? You have two bad publicity now, so it's even cheaper. <laughs> you need to get Croder to match strength out of the sucker pump, then you need to break it six subroutines. Alright, so two update a sucker. And Six if you want to keep the click, then you need to break Enigma twice. Then 
one's for yeah. the boring ice wall at the end. Alright, please be something good. Nope. More money. Don't forget you got an F12 again if you hand size. Alright. I really want my Amazon Industrial. I would like to work on a remote at some point. See, in the original draft of this deck, like, I didn't have Diego, because it wasn't out yet. Oh, <laughs> no! Finally. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs> we have a lot of cards in hand, so it's going to be not likely of me getting something good. Yeah, but, like, you tend to accumulate agendas to have the server. That's why you have to do HQ more than R&D with this gimmick. Fill me with hate, Lucy. Haha! -ha! You just got that woodcutter. All you. Yes, I got lucky. I love how I get a hedge fund, and it's like, wow, isn't that terrible? <laughs> four creds? Who even gives a shit about no damn four creds? Alright, let's do this. I have a 23 strength ice wall. It's a shame you're never going in the front door. <laughs> <sighs> I might just say 22 is enough money for commercialization and just focus on other stuff now. Seems like a plan. But then I lose that free Simone money. It's so efficient, how can it not? Yeah. None of your... N oh, hang on. None of your nonsense. <laughs> okay. Eight strength. Yeah. With bad publicity, it's not even that expensive for you. It's just not going to be free. Right. You're in, Lucy. Woodcutter! No, it's not woodcutter at all. Alright, we're getting closer. Yep. <laughs> and now we're going to hope to God that it's on top of your R&D. Oh, no! No! <laughs> so I'll break the end of the run. Yep. Woodcutter. And end the Woodcutter. run. Woodcutter on top of my deck. Woodcutter on top of my deck. Be a hero. Nope, archive memories. Ha <laughs> All you. I would fetch a commercialization. I think I might just be rich enough, though. Definitely doing that. Yeah, I mean, it's not free like the Simeon money is, but I'm so rich that I don't really need to care about losing credits anymore. I'm just sad because I was all excited to finally get a remote going, maybe, with that Hadrian's. Then you had to go be a butthead. <laughs> get sneak door. Alright. So we use three up data sucker. Okay. Five. So it's a strength eight, right? Alright, so plus six. Yep. Alright, you're in. Woodcutter. Archive memories again. <laughs> and then we will get rid of your big ice. I'll sort of get rid of it. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad that doesn't make me lose the the tokens on it, yeah. Yeah. Can I afford to just res them both already? Yeah. <laughs> when it de reses, <laughs> at least my peak. Yeah, but at least it will hurt my money a tiny little bit. Well, there's only one answer in this situation. Core solution? No. Not quite. 
one less agenda in my hand. <sighs> Jesus, your Katie is almost as much money as my ice wall is strength. <laughs> <laughs> Try a look again. Oh, okay. It's this is free, just going. Okay. <laughs> I have so much bad publicity, you can just Nope. Yeah, it's actually a pretty safe R and D when you have no assets because all they can hit is agendas and like a couple upgrades. Oh you I suppose I got three upgrades. Alright. We're gonna do that finally. And then. Let's try it one more time. Running on R&D. Mm-hmm. Raising the tyrant. It has seven subroutines. Okay. Oh, that's right. You got the three-pointers. I should probably take three-pointers out of this deck, even if it means more agendas. Just so you need to get four. I don't know. haven't worked too hard on this deck because of how <laughs> dumb it is. <laughs> so I figured it'd be the 100 subscriber special and then you came. It's even better. Uh, well, you don't get your Amazon industrial zone. No, I've been waiting on that shit for ages. I kind of want to archive memories it. No. <laughs> God damn it, Lucy. Yeah. Oh, you. So how much money does it cost to get into your R&D? Because I'll probably just remember that number and keep using it. <laughs> uh, well, the thing about that is it's constantly in flux. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll add one for every tower encounter. So it's one for Ice Wall, two for Enigma. Well, just bad publicity just cancels out the back two. So okay. that's just how much it costs you to break Tyrant each time. Okay, easy enough to remember. Yep. We're going to do that. And we're going to do that. we got to strike a balance. That will do it. Alright, so I'll just pay 11 to get on your R&D. <laughs> Alright. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Do this. Bam. 
Oh, nice. Thank you. So what's, like, your deck? Like, I'm running Wayland Stall, but what are you going for with Andromeda? Like, what's kind of your... Uh, my thing was just to get a... Mm. I don't know, hopefully a rush deck, but it <laughs> doesn't do well against the stalemate deck. <laughs> Alright. Because, like, my. What's that? Pheromones? Like, I have a bunch of money cards, obviously. Easy mark, sure gamble. And then it was just hopes that. I don't know, I get lucky off the first ones. Okay. Yeah. I usually run Katie Jones, but I figured I'd try making an Andromeda deck. That's another thing, as you can use the commer like, you can use the archive memories to fetch biotic labor, mm -hmm. and not just. Is that your memory. last like archive memories though? I think that's my second. Yeah, that's my second. I never used okay. the first one, on the um, like I never used the second one you saw on commercialization. I just drew my second commercialization. Oh okay. That's part of the idea. Is you use it early if you need the money. Now I'm kind of post money, so <laughs> money just no longer means an especially relevant thing to me. So then we're gonna. Alright. See what you got. Alright. So 13 strength. Yep. And then two subs. <laughs> Well, I know you have a biotic labor. <laughs> yep. All you. Uh -huh. Do you run any sentries? Me? I... Yes, I run one. <laughs> okay. You don't need to worry. Ninja did do a thing. Yeah, I think I might go for a gimmicky alt one. Hmm. Debating what's in my best interests here. I think I'm actually just going to do this. Oh, and then it's minus one. We're going to advance that. We're going to advance that. Trying to find my last inside job. <laughs> I thought you'd used three already for some reason. I hope not. <laughs> I'll check in a second. Yeah, I've used all three, Doug. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It sure is. Oh, I wasted it the first, like, turn. That's right.
Not using Katie. Yeah, I forgot because I was just in a money fr or drawing, drawing frenzy. frenzy. Yeah. I like to put in my Andromeda deck, I got Diesel. I like that a lot. Andro. Well, you. Oh. I'm probably just going to wait till you put a card in your, what's it called, your uh, actual scoring area. I don't think you can one-shot advance it anymore. <laughs> I hope. I have one commercialization left. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, if you're wondering, this was uh, another research station. <laughs> Just in case. And so that's the stack. I've got literally no assets. Um, normally my plan is I use Amazon Industrial because then Woodcutter gets a lot better and I make a remote. And I have that one troubleshooter as an alt-win con with the Woodcutter. But in this case, I just figured I'd use my memories to fetch my labors. And I just kind of waited. Uh, and then, yeah, this was another Tyrant over here. And this was another Hadrian's. And I have one commercialization left for 22. So yeah, that's my gimmick with <laughs> And that was my 100 subscriber video. So thank you for being a part of that. My dog is an idiot. Well, that's actually my brother's dog. I will not take responsibility. Alright, I'm going to go stop the video. Thanks okay. for participating, Lucy.